Okay, as you can see, got some holes in plastic here. Uh, again, it's cold outside, so everything's very brittle. It's cracking on me. But uh, what we're doing is pretty forgiving. It doesn't need to be perfect. Uh, as long as this hole here is bigger than 12 inches, then we got plenty of air intake. And they didn't want to cut it all the way out to the edge. Because remember, this is an airlock. Uh, this is actually going to hold this thing in place on the plastic for lane two and lane three. So uh, now I'm going to start working on installing them. So similar to what we did on the previous one, I have to, I have to bring the uh, plastic into the actual tube itself. So here we go. I'm just going to use some duct tape to secure it in place. But again, it doesn't have to be perfect. It's good enough. If you don't mind if there's a little bit of air that comes in from outside of these tents because that will help dehumidify the entire building overall. So these don't have to be air airtight. Okay, well, we got this stage of the project looking pretty good here. I'm going to show you. I just show you the airflow. See everything flapping there. And then it moves into here, goes down that long tunnel, and gets sucked into the dehumidifier, and then gets circulated back. Looking real good. Those are all flapping in the breeze too. Real nice. One of the things I like about this design, and I'll be honest, I didn't think about it up front, but it's a good thing that you'll get to take advantage of, is that on top of the box, uh, or even on the side, those lids are really, really great. They can come on and off. Uh, so if I ever need to do maintenance, I can just take that off and uh, get in there and do whatever I need to do. I can also see if water is starting to accumulate, which I think it will start to inside of the pipes because the air out here will be colder than the air in the pipes. So by physics, I should get some condensation. I'll have to keep an eye on that. Okay, we're here at the last part. Cut my hole. And it sits down there just like this. And okay, so uh, after a little bit of playing around and thinking, uh, what I decided to do was to cut the uh, end ring off and expose the fabric, and then turn the fabric back and use some screws I had to secure it to the lid. So now, here it is. A little tight. Is good. I do have some air coming up there, so I'll drop this here to help. I'm going to cut some of it and put that down right underneath it there. Help secure some more. feel the air trying to get out of there. So I'm excited to see how much more airflow we have in the system. Right now though, it looks like I'm done. Well here we are. It looks like I, I'm, I think I'm done with the new ventilation system. I'm going to walk you through it just a little bit from the top to the bottom. And then I got to go do some check-in to see how well the air is flowing. But here we go. There's the big picture. You can see the inlets here coming in from lane two and lane three. Plastics flapping in the wind. We got a nice suction going on there. Nice suction going on over here. Everything's coming together in the junction box, real nice. Follow the main line down now. We have our main air blower, 12 inches, awesome, the 
transition from the air system, the pump, into the dehumidifier is working great. This plastic is nice and firm. It's just how we would want it to be. Not loose, not flapping in the wind. Flapping creates vibration. Vibration is bad. Right now, the system is defrosting, which means it's working correctly. Let's go look at that. So I still need to hook the hoses in. And we're at 77% relative humidity. So that should go down. The outlet is nice and firm. So we've got good airflow there. Main line. Down into the system, the heating system. We have a little bit of air coming through here. Not much though. The air seems to be pretty good all the way around. A little bit sneaking out, but nothing bad at all. And that is nice and firm. So it really looks like we got the system installed. I'm very, very happy with it. It's taken a lot to get here. And in case you're wondering how much to get here, I'd like to show you this. You know what that is? That's failure. Sometimes failure looks pretty cool, but most of the time it looks like that. Ugly. I failed a lot doing this, but we're learning a lot. And hopefully, what we're learning here will help all those people thinking about going to Mars. Okay, well, I think this is it. I got the ventilation system in. I just got done cleaning up everything. Pretty happy with how it all turned out. It certainly looks like it's functioning very well. Uh, it seems to be functioning very well. Uh, we won't really know until we get the humidity readings in uh, within the next couple of days. So on lane three, which is here, uh, we're heavy humidity. And that's because we didn't have the dehumidifier in there. In lane two, you can see there's hardly any humidity. But what's happening right now is all this air is starting to mix. So lane two was at, I think it was 54% relative humidity this morning with the dehumidifier in the lane. And uh, who knows what lane three was at, but obviously it's very, very high. Uh, the mixture right now is coming through the dehumidifier at 77% relative humidity. So it, it's definitely mixing. Uh, I've seen it go down a little bit since we first started. Uh, but not much so uh, we're just gonna have to keep our eye on it and if this doesn't work we'll have to go on to version 4 of whatever is going to solve this which is probably another dehumidifier that's it bye bye